guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, and uh, thanks for clicking on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. So, the garlic. We harvested the garlic a couple weeks ago and Mike's been uh, laying it out to dry and he's got some of it already braided and hanging for uh, so it can cure. And I'm really excited about this year's garlic harvest in particular because last year Mike took some of the garlic and fermented it along with some of my peppers that he likes to use in my probiotic. Uh, which we've also done videos on before. Um, I'm a huge proponent of fermented homemade probiotics. They are really good for your gut health and your overall health. And I just, I can't say enough good things about probiotics and fermented foods. I absolutely adore them. So that being said, this year's garlic crop was really, really good. We've got a lot of different kinds. And of course we'll keep some, uh, you know, just as regular cloves. And uh, I think I'll be trading some of the garlic as well for some other things um, around town. But I'm gonna have him ferment a bunch of this garlic because I've been cooking with the fermented garlic and uh, using a little bit of it just raw fermented, which is, you know, it's soft and kind of pliable. You can kind of squish it up and make it into kind of a spread, almost like if you were to roast it. But you're getting a lot of really great health benefits because it's been fermented um, and it has a really unique flavor once you ferment it. So cooking with it has been really interesting because um, it just gives this really unique uh, garlic flavor. It's really strong garlic flavor, but it doesn't have that strong garlic aftertaste. So you really get like the full force of the flavor up front, but you're not getting like the dragon breath afterwards, which I find really interesting. And I'm curious to know if anybody else has had that, uh, has felt that way about it as well, because, uh, you know, maybe I'm the only one that's, that thinks that, or maybe you haven't tried it, but I'm telling you, night and day, I'm not get you don't get the garlic breath like you do when you're eating, um, you know, even sometimes cooked garlic will, you know, you'll get that kind of, you know, oh my God, I had garlic, I can smell it on my breath or whatever. The fermented garlic, I don't know what happens in the fermenting, fermentation process, but it seems to really alleviate that issue, which I'm totally good with, right? Who wants to walk around with dragon breath, but you're still getting all the health benefits of garlic plus the added health benefits of the fermentation. I say it's a win. Mike's garden is going crazy. We're getting a lot of zucchinis right now. So I've been uh, grating zucchinis into our salad and we've been grilling zucchinis and frying zucchinis and doing all kinds of fun things with zucchinis. I haven't made any zucchini bread because um, honestly, actually I've never made zucchini bread before. It's not something that I uh, really gravitate towards. I like to keep my vegetables as vegetables and I like to have my sweets as sweets you know what I mean if I'm gonna be bad I'm gonna be bad and have like a real sweet sweet treat versus a kind of like weird hybrid um, <laughs> you know so um, so I haven't made zucchini bread but uh, we're loving the fresh zucchini out of the garden so I'm really excited about some of the things that are starting to pop off in the garden, which I know guys, I don't usually get excited about the gardening stuff because well, the gardening part is actually boring. But when I actually get the stuff from Mike out of the garden, I get excited because it means pickles, it means zucchinis, it means we've had a lot of lettuce out of the garden that we've been using and I still have kale um, and some Swiss chard and things like that and then the garlic of course. So super excited to have that stuff to be able to work with and cook with um, in the kitchen it makes me super happy to be able to provide that for the family and and have healthy healthy things like that um, because you know especially you know during quarantine a lot of people are like you know eating fast food or getting things to go and you know um, I'm happy to say that we have I think we ate out twice maybe three times that we got some form of takeout and only one of those times was it like genuine junk food. <laughs> um, but you know, that's okay. But uh, you know, we try to eat healthy and, and try to make sure that bugs, they love me. They love me so much. Anyway, try to make sure that, and that, that we have healthy stuff and, and that we're uh, providing that for Frankie. 
So with the garden in full swing right now, I've got grapes that are forming on our grapevines. Those will be ready in like the beginning of August, end of July. Um, I did pick a few peaches that were ready off the tree um, that we had checked on last week. And there's some that are almost ready that are lower and I need to get a bigger ladder because I think there's some that are up really high that I can see but I can't get to. Um, so I need to get like the big, I need like a cherry picker to, to get the peaches, who would have thunk it? Um, but that's what I need. Um, so we've got a few projects that we're working on this weekend. We're gonna be um, hopefully putting in some more fence post holes along the back end of the pool and finishing the one facade of the playhouse that has been long the bane of my existence. So I'm hoping to get that finished up and done and completed so that uh, by the time we have Frankie's much belated 10th birthday party uh, in a couple weeks, at least that will be done. Um, things are starting to get a little bit more normal now. More businesses are opening up. People are having get togethers now. It's, we're still mandatory, you know, certain things, but, um, but it's, it's starting to feel like life again, which is exciting <laughs> because, uh, you know, I'm not one of these people that likes to hide in a bunker and, you know, be scared of my own shadow and not live my life. And, you know, you can only do that for so long before you're like, okay, eventually this is not living anymore. <laughs> you know, it's like, you gotta, you gotta make a trade off at some point. So I'm excited things are getting back to normal. Um, we're going to be having a quasi dance classes again, not just online, which is exciting for Frankie. Um, I think they're going to be doing a, a very weird version of their dance recital, but we'll see. I got to get some more details about that, but lots going on with all of that. I'm just excited that, uh, that the worst of this seems to be over as far as, you know, keeping us all penned up. It's, it's nice to be able to finally feel like we're going to get a chance to kind of get out and, and do some things. So that's kind of an update what's going on around here. Once I get uh, this garlic all cured, or I should say Mike gets this garlic all cured, uh, we will definitely be fermenting a large portion of it and I will uh, be documenting that so we can show you guys how we do it. Um, the, the batch that he did last year was so good. So I'm looking forward to having some more of that. I've got just a little bit left of the last year's batch and I'm like using it sparingly. So got to do more. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications.